So Jack's uh, down 4-2, going to the third. Yeah. Guy takes down, where you're like, thank you. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what I was going to be doing. I didn't know, like, so there's, there's two minutes, obviously. I didn't know if my coaches wanted me to, like, let him up and then try and get two takedowns in a tight up or uh, work for the turn. But I figured, like, first 30 seconds, I'm going to work for the turn. And I was, I was able to get it. I mean, thankfully, my top game is something we work on a lot. So I've been... Uh, practicing for moments like that you know what I mean you never know when you're going to be down third period it's his choice so you just got to get it out goes to overtime late escape right yeah. kind of a scramble uh -huh. get, go to overtime any doubt in your mind you weren't getting that takedown overtime I mean I was, there was two things I was seeing right there in the match it was uh man am I tired and uh just looking for the next point I mean I didn't know what I was going to be going to do I was just going to go out there and wrestle and try and like feel what was open because like I mean his defense like I, I tried a couple of half shots I didn't really get to my offense like I should have but I mean he was the one that was offensive so I didn't know I was I didn't know what I was going to have to do except just like wait for an opportunity to come and try and make the most of it rematch tonight yes Beat you oh, yeah. last year. Yeah, in overtime. Right? Yeah. So, big one, Lola yes. Doll. He's good. You're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm excited for it. I mean, I'm just going to let it fly. I mean, I'm not going out there with, like, the, like I have to win mindset. Like, I think I probably was last year. I'm just going out there, like, hey, I'm just going to go wrestle, you know. I think something that one of my coaches and my dad's been talking to me a lot recently is just, like, I mean, you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself. If you really think about it, like, there's two things that I feel like wrestling is. I mean, it's... Number one, it's it's a sport. I mean, obviously, it's just a sport. So I mean, there's more things out there. And then that, like, going out there wrestling, like, if you just burn it down into one idea, I feel like it's the idea of you're just going out there and you're showing your talent and your hard work. So I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna show the talent that uh, God has given me, which I'm truly, truly blessed for, and all the hard work and all the late nights, early mornings that I put in. Okay, something's really changed. Your wrestling evol has evolved in like way more rough physical style yeah you used to be real smooth and everything was methodical and you were yeah. just now man that quarterfinal yesterday was like i was gonna call the cuyahoga falls police on you you're super physical now yeah. is that from wrestling with bo melvin what, what mason just, like yeah. where, where's that coming from it's a mixture with all all our team i mean I'm, I'm the smallest guy in the room now so you know, the slickness, like the elbow passes, all the funk rolls and stuff. I mean, it gets hard to do when you're wrestling guys that are bigger. So I got to find ways to kind of counteract them. And I've noticed that, like, hand fighting hard, getting them a little bit tired, get their arms just, like, 10 pounds heavier, back down, back down to, like, my weight, you know, then things things get easier. College Open, you wrestled and you put yourself out there. You don't get the results you want, right? But how good was that College Open for you to, to go yeah. to Clarion? Yeah, I mean, I think losing to Blaze, obviously, like, it sucks because I mean he's he's super good and it would have been like a great win and something and then obviously wrestling Ramos I mean I've been looking forward to trying to wrestle him but you know God's plan that wasn't what it was today or back then so I mean just figuring things out you know got to stay in good position through a whole match don't hang on to leads and just like wrestle smart wrestle like how I know how to feeling Ramos did it feel like anything any different that you feel every day in your wrestling room with those guys that we just mentioned no I mean we were stacked from even 106 up to heavyweight I mean we got a loaded team and everybody brings something different so I feel like any college guy that I could wrestle I get a part of that from let's say our 150 pounder or our 114 or Bo I mean I get a piece of like every college feel every every single day all right, I need a quick prediction. You're going to the Ohio State University to wrestle the Grand Falcons. Yeah. Give me some picks. Get, let, let me tell. Tell me what the final outcome will be. Will it be the Crushers? Will it be the Falcons? Who you got? Obviously, I mean, McCourt's my team. So I, I think I think we're going to go on there. There's going to be great matches. But I think just like our firepower from 120 up to like 175, I feel like we're – Loaded in there, and on a good day, all of our guys could beat any other team. So, 14 weight classes. Give me, yeah. give me a count. Eight to six, nine, 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 five. What do we? What do you got? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go nine, five. Nine, five, nine, five uh, crushers, obviously. Eight, six. We eight, got, six we crushers. Got a in there, so I think around eight, six. Yeah. Eight, six crushers. Yes. Bonus will win it. I think. Of, of course, that's what you guys do. You bonus everybody. Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm excited for it. Yes. I might be at that one. Oh, good. Maybe, yeah. have to check it out. Yeah, uh, I'm get, for it. You got anything else for me? All glory to God. I mean, he's the one that, uh, while you're standing here either listening to this or at the Ironman building, I mean, God's 
got us here safely. He's kept us safe. So, I mean, all glory to God always. Okay, and the most jacked forest thing about this interview? How long have your red shoes been off? Uh, so, my matches, I mean, I, I, I like to wear the same socks. I mean, I wear one of the socks that uh, I've got from. Did you SBA. say winter socks? Just the, winter? No. Did you say winter no, socks? No, no, no. Just regular, regular socks. Got it. I was like, so, this guy's wearing. Yeah. Was he Mike Zadek? What's going yeah. on here? So I have I have two different socks that I wear. They're both yellow. They both represent God. I feel like in a different way. I've done at Worlds right after I lost. I had a really long conversation with somebody who's who's been super good to me, and he gave me these socks. And so I feel like that's kind of like the the God that's there for me when I when I need him. When like t times get tough, and that's always on my it's always on my right one. And my left one is. When I got from uh, another guy, really good guy out at the uh, Olympic Training Center. And I feel like that's just the guy that's like, he's going to keep me strong when I need him. So I, I, I did two different parts of him. So I feel like uh, it's just representing God and ha having him with there at me at all times. I appreciate but the story behind back, the bare feet. Yeah, so back to the bare feet. I mean, I, I get sweaty. I get sweaty feet, you know. Well, I think, I think most of us do. I'm not going to lie to you. And I like to keep them um, semi-clean, like as, as long as I can. So after I match, I just take them off, you know. Got it. Open. Them. Air them out. Air them out, you know. Okay. And that's why we're here. Yes. Jax, good luck to you in the finals Thank you. tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it.